My daughter is a city council person. She's a law school graduate and she's an activist. She teaches part time and that's the most important job I think a person could have, including ministry. And I'm an ordained minister myself. Of all the things I've done, I don't think I've mentioned my ministry of reliance and my association, but it's the most important thing that I've done. We believe in the fatherhood of God and the brotherhood of man. They're both Christians, and all three of my children. Both my daughter, my daughter Cheryl, as I said, is a, a, a city council person in Warren, Ohio, and she's an educator and has her own business. Okay. My daughter in Cleveland is Marsha Fudge. She's a congresswoman. I met her mother some 45 years ago. Didn't meet her for about 20 years later. And uh, uh, Marsha at the time, I think, was in law school, I believe, down in Ohio State. And I think one of her classmates, I know she went to school with uh, Governor Kasich, and, uh, who was a past governor, and also Mike White was like, they grew up together, okay? John Casey, of course, was a Caucasian. Mike White was uh, was African American, okay, and they was both uh, well, John Casey was Republican, and uh, um, the uh, the uh, yeah, Marsha, of course, is, is a Democrat, and she's been very very active oh, in politics and in business, even when she, early on when she was in high school and went to Ohio State on a, on a, on a, on a basketball and an academic scholarship. And uh, so she's now uh, head of the Deltas, which it was, it was a national organization dealing with women issues. And she's very active, we're very proud of her. As both of my daughters have been very uh, active politically and in social services, okay? And I think they have, I have to give their mama's credits for most of that activity because they were raised up in good Christian homes and they believe like I do now and have been all my life, living in the fatherhood of God and in the brotherhood of man. So uh, my son, Juan Salfo, uh, when Juan was in junior high school and grade school, Juan was a good athlete, okay? He played football and baseball, and he's just a good athlete. And I guess he got some of that off his daddy and his uncles. He was just a super, super athlete. But uh, during his uh, high school days, okay, he got involved with the wrong crowd. And his daddy was away more than I was at home, and I was not able to monitor his activity like I would like to, but maybe I should have, okay? His mother did the best thing she could. She worked. And when, you know, when parents are away, they, you know, kids will play. So one got kind of involved in some things that maybe he should not have been. And as a result, uh, he was not able to uh, do the things maybe he could have done. But I'm proud of him now. I'm just told that right now he's probably in better shape now that uh, he has been in a long time. And I can't say he found Christ, but Christ went and got him because he's baptized when he's in grade school, like his sister was, and all of us. So he's coming along fine, and I believe in all my heart, I know he won't ever be what he could have been, but he's going to be better than what he is. I'm so proud of him that he's rediscovered what it means to be a good citizen, and he's doing well. Thank you.